This episode of The Map is brought to you by the STJFL and its major partner, Crips, the Master Baker. It's week six. The weather's getting cooler, but the footy's getting hotter. In under-16 action, we go to the Twin Ovals, where Kingborough take on the undefeated Lauderdale. Back now in the centre, just a few seconds remaining. Have they got a chance here, the, the uh, Bombers? No, there's the siren! A famous victory here at the Twin Ovals! It's then down to KFC Park, where Commandy in the under-11s take on the Mighty Pies. But, by popular demand, we head off to Blundstone Arena first to join the action where Clarence take on Lauderdale. It's no wonder there's such a big crowd here tonight and yes. um, big build up and umpire Gapen has the ball up in the air and away we go. Nice ruck contest here, both ruckmen really with a bit of a touch on that one. First opportunity he goes to Clarence with Riley Johnston. Johnston kicks down towards centre half forward, oh well nicely taken there with an awkward bounce, runs in towards the <laughs> open goal and kicks the first goal and it's a Cooney. Oh, oh look at him, oh. celebrates like his old man as well. Of course it's a Cooney. Pretty happy with himself. Camped underneath it. Coming through there though was Jack Maundrew who's been very impressive also this quarter. Picked up nicely. There might be a chance here for Henderson. Henderson! Oh! Brings it back! What a goal! Ethan Williamson got it away to Max Gapen. This could be dangerous now. Gapen wants his right boot. And good work there. Gets it to Riley Johnston. Really used his head there Gapen. And that's into the post. Oh! Got one hand to it. Tapped it to his advantage. and still going now. Needs a little bit of support. Finds it in the form of Crow. Crow with a high one. Oh, great mark there to Kobe Bennett. Just the skills of these kids. It's unbelievable. The Oz kick has done its job. Oh, going back. Oh, has he got some courage? The gladiator. We've spoken of him a few times. Mason Crow. He has got the heart of a lion, this young man. He's just got to figure out which way he's going. And he'll be, he'll be a star. Hose the boot into it again at the back. Gets it away to Rogers. Some tremendous action there from Blundstone Arena and it was marvellous to see some of the old great names like Cooney and Gapen nurturing the youth of Tasmania and helping out as we can see there by their coaching. We now leave Blundstone Arena to KFC Park where Commandy take on the Mighty Pies. Reece Scotland, you know, good footballing name. Oh, flew high, did he bring it down the ground? Not quite, he's good enough anyway. Lucas Ford gets around a couple and then kicks the goal. Excellent work there from Lucas Ford. You can see that coming a mile off. Gets a short, sharp kick away. Brody Kirkby already got a goal to his name. Spills out of that contest, across his body now. Out into the pocket, can they bring down a mark? Oh, nearly, off hands. The big full forward couldn't quite bring it down. Snap across the body. Good goal, and Cooper Meredith. He likes to put it out in front of Connor Sward, and Sward loves that kick across his body. He finds Brock Winter. This time Winter leads his opponent to the gear, uh, to the ball. Gets a kick away, and it's a beauty. Brock Winter, a kick from way downtown, and finally they get one on the board, Commandy. Looked like Berman getting the kick away there for Commandy. Short chip kick once more, finds a target. Is it Jordan Green now? He can kick a ball a long way for a small man. Look at that, what a beautiful looking kick, and right in the goal square, the mark's been taken, and he moves it on quickly, wasting no time there. Excellent work there to Theo Hart. Back in the centre now, lovely setting down here at Commandy. This is a, an absolute ripper. It's been one point at each change, and breaking out of there is Theo Hart. Hart gets it down forward for Glenorchy. An early goal would really hurt, hurt the home side. Here's a chance for Ty Hart. Hart, did he sneak it through? He did. Ty Hart, beautiful goal. The Hart boys combining. First quarter, Kelly able to pick oh well, up, for those that right care, route. it's under 16 action. Could be Kimmel. dangerous. Husing, Dylan Hay, can he kick it up the ground? He does. Good start. Excellent goal there to the Tigers. They're up and about early, the Tigers. Bones now in defence. Halliday camped underneath it off his hands though. Graham now with a chance. It's a long looking kick. It's a ripper. Straight through the centre. Another one for the Tigers. Chance now for the Bombers to get one back. Halliday gives it across now. Looking for Johns, Johns gets it on his chest, wheels around on the left boot. It's a nice looking kick, it's a long one. Straight over the goal umpire's head. Cook and McPherson going for it. Just holds him off there, pulls him off the ball. There might be a free kick and it is. 
So a chance. Now oh. he hasn't given that back duff. Undisciplined by Cook. Oh, the umpire is pinging him. The first one. He's going to. Make sure we concentrate. Scores a level, all right. Just go for it. I don't care if we make, if we take the game on, and we make a mistake. I don't care. As long as we're all having a crack. About five minutes into this final quarter now, Franklin with the ball in the set. Bring goal. Back to bring it back to Wants to move now. Run. Four. Use it. Get up. Spin. Back now. Just a few, few seconds remaining. Have they got to the? I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to my, my daily, daily bread, Crips Master Loaf. Be it white, wholemeal, or nine grain, I will enjoy freedom from artificial preservatives in a bread crafted from pure Tasmanian flour. And we love how it tastes. I will rise to the occasion, munching on only the freshest loaves. Baked daily at Cripps since 1878. I will proudly fly the Cripps flag. In a toast to this great nation, we call Tasmania. Upon this, I swear. Cripps Master Loaf. Tasmanians swear by it.